नमस्कार एंड वेलकम आई एथ आर्ट सिक्का इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स विल बी गेटिंग इन द टॉप 24 फोर न्यूज ऑफ द लास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन अवील स्टैच्यू ऑफ नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस बिनीथ द कैनोपी नियर इंडिया गेट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एट द इनोग्रेशन सेरेमनी ऑफ कर्तव्य पथ सेट दैट द सिंबल ऑफ कॉलोनियलिज्म किंग्स वे विल बी अ हिस्ट्री एंड हैज बीन इरेज फॉर एवर अ न्यू एरा हैज बिगिन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कर्तव्य पथ In the last eight years, we have taken several decisions which had the imprint of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. He was the first head of Agan Bharat who unfurled the national flag in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Rajput was for the British, for whom the people of India were slaves. It was a symbol of colonialism. Now its architecture has changed. Its spirit has also changed, says PM Modi at the inauguration ceremony of Kartavya Path. 20 sculptors spent 26000 hours to carve Netaji's India Gate statue says Union government the cultural ministry released a statement revealing that the sculptors spent 26000 hours carving Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose statue unveiled by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the India Gate The Supreme Court has said that there is no comparison between Kripan and turban of Sikh with the hijab as five judge bench of the apex court held the wearing turban and Kripan is allowed for Sikh The remarks came when a bench of justices Hemant Gupta and Sudhanshu Dulia heard various petitions challenging the Karnataka High Court judgment upholding the ban on hijab in education institute. Advocate Nizamuddin Pasha appearing for one of the petitioners who is a student of Islam and Arabic tried to draw similarities between kripan and turban with the hijab. India successfully completed six flight tests for the quick reaction surface to air missile system of the Odisha coast. According to Defence Research and Development Organisation the flight tests have been conducted as a part of evaluation trials by the Indian Army The National Investigation Agency carried out searches at multiple locations in Bihar in connection with the Fulwari Sharif terror module case The places raided in Bihar are located in Darbhanga Araria Chhapra and Patna district of the state Biggest seizure of trafficked exotic animals in Assam About 40 rare wild animals baby kangaroos exotic chimpanzees rare tortoises monkeys seized from two SUVs with Delhi number plate two persons detained at Rangia by the police Maharashtra BJP MLA Ram Kadam slams Uddhav Thackeray grave of terrorist Yakub Mehman who executed the 1993 Bombay bomb blast case at Pakistan base converted into a mazar when Uddhav Thackeray was seen Sharad Pawar Rahul Gandhi and he should apologize to the people of Mumbai Former Shiv Sena leader Ramesh Solanki joins BJP in Mumbai. In 2019, Solanki has left the party after Shiv Sena joined hands with Congress and NCP. He alleges that Sena has compromised on its core Hindutva ideology. I had run out of undergarments, so I went to Delhi to purchase them. I get them from there. JMM MLA and Jharkhand CM Hemant Soren's brother Basen Soren, when asked about his visit to Delhi amid recent political unrest in the state. charge sheet filed against six members of proscribed terror organization Jamaatul Mujahideen Bangladesh in Bhopal case pertaining to propagating GMB ideology and motivating you to perform jihad against India In Bangladesh Biman Krishna Dhar a Hindu jeweler was slaughtered and left the body besides the garden the house of the deceased is in Patia Banki Para village he was returning home from his jewelry shop in Chitgaon In Madhya Pradesh a Muslim man named Monu Mansuri was detained for reportedly stalking a 19 year old Hindu nursing student and threatening to attack her with the acid if she did not marry him and convert to Islam the incident took place in Khandwa district of Madhya Pradesh Pakistan police in Ghotki arrested a journalist named Narsalla Gaddani for covering the plight of Pakistani Hindus trapped in the ongoing floods in Sindh province of Pakistan The journalist has been sent on remand for 5 days. According to the reports, the journalist has covered the heart-wrenching story of Pakistani Hindus belonging to Bhagri community in Mirpur. The Uttar Pradesh police arrested one person named Bilal for raping and abusing his cousin in the public. He also took incriminating videos of his cousin and also used them to blackmail her and force her to marry him. A case has been registered against the accused under section 376 323 504 and 386 of the Indian Penal Code the video of the incident went viral over social media in which the accused can be seen hitting the victim and threatening her 
Afghanistan cricket fans are demanding the International Cricket Council, the world cricket governing body, to take concern of Pakistani cricketer Asif Ali's conduct during Pakistan vs Afghanistan match in the Asia Cup. In the visuals that have gone viral on social media, Ali can be seen threatening an Afghan bowler with his bat. The Central Bureau of Investigation has received a complaint from Sarbari Mukherjee, the mother of an accused in the multi-crore Sharda Chit Fund scam. The Criminal Investigation Department of the West Bengal is creating mental pressure on her daughter Devjani Mukherjee to name BJP leader Suvendu Adhikari and CPIM leader Sujan Chakravarti as beneficiaries of the scam. Amid discussion for opposition's unity to take on the BJP, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has said that she along with Nitish Kumar, Himan Soren and other leaders will fight the 2024 polls together. India-Japan agrees to boost defence corporation as Rajnath Singh meets Japanese counterpart. The two ministers acknowledge the importance of India-Japan defence partnership and the critical role it will play in ensuring free, open and rule-based Indo-Pacific region. Soon after the Punjab government cleared the salaries of its employees for the month of August, after a week-long delay, BJP spokesperson Shahjad Unawala hits out at Arman Party saying that party has money for advertisement but not for salaries. Ahead of the completion of the largest international airport, the Jewar area of Uttar Pradesh, Gautam Buddha Nagar got its first powerhouse after the 75 years of independence. Till now, there was no powerhouse in the Jewar area and the local population was totally dependent on the neighboring cities for the electricity supply. Two terrorists killed in an encounter in Thajiwara area of Anantan district. The terrorists were identified as Fayaz and Oves Khan. The terrorists were linked with terror outfit Ansar Gazwal Ulhind. India saw a single day rise of 6,395 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. The active case comprised 0.11% of the total infection, while the national COVID-19 recovery rate has increased to 98.70%, the health ministry said. We will be back with news at night tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel.